Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to show you this quick video on my plan with me and my big Nietzsche. So as you know, we are trucking along in the month of July. Can you stand it? This is the last week in July. Wow, I don't even know what to say besides where did the month go? The month has disappeared. So anyway, <laughs> so as you know, I did Christmas in July, and this is what my monthly looks like. So we are going to be working on uh, 24th through the 30th, and um, speaking, see, as you know, the next day is Harry Potter Day. I decided to dedicate my week this week to Harry Potter Day. Yes, I did. I didn't want to do this week because it's going into August and I had something different planned for August. So I thought that I would um, do something different for um, for this week. So what I was thinking, oh, I forgot to take out the other page, duh. Hold on, y'all, hold on, hold, hold the phone. Yikes. So I saw this free digital on craftyplanner.com and it was Harry Potter inspired so I thought that I would take it and do what I can with it and you do not need a, a die cutting machine if you don't have one. All I did was use my X-Acto blade and my ruler and I just sliced it up with my ruler that way you know you do not have to have a die cut machine to um get these things uh oh sometimes i do not do it deep enough when i cut these you know i hate when i do that because it's annoying me because i can't see it so i gotta come in here and fill out where it is to make sure things is uh no deep enough. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. So I'ma play with it, and you know, it is what it is. Let's see if I can do it this way. If anything is cut, okay. Now it tells me whether or not something's cut. Because if it was cut good enough, the outside would see. It's not. So I guess we'll have to do it again. Let's move this out the way. Hey, this is what happens sometimes. Sometimes I don't know if I'm cutting deep enough and then I don't want to cut too deep and then I end up um end up uh ruining my table. See, that's my thing. And yes, I should use a, a cutting mat because I got tons of them. So if you have a die cutting machine, you might want to do that. It's like, no, I'm kidding. You what all you have to do really is just Make sure you put some pressure on it when you go through here. Because evidently, I did not put enough pressure on here. So, I have to recut. So, anyway. We're going to work it out. Don't you worry. If I got to sit here and cut out every last one of them, that's what I'll do. Or you can take your scissors and cut them out and have all the little pieces. I didn't want to cut all them out with the scissors because I didn't want all those little pieces. So, I am going to put the HP... Maybe I'll put it right here. Okay, so like I was saying. So, um, as I was saying, you can, you know, you can take your scissors and cut them out. You can use in your die cut machine. You can use a blade, whatever is convenient for you. So anyway, so I just, you know, I just use my blade and cut it out and, um, you know, followed up with my scissors when I didn't cut it that well because, you know, sometimes you can't really tell if you cut through or not unless you break the paper, <laughs> unless you cut through your paper, um, your desk and slice your desk up, which is possible because I do that a lot. So, uh, we are going to put Harry here, and I'll find a box to color, a cover that, because I see some shadowing from the week before. Let's do Hagrid. Mm, looks like they got... 
this one's not cut all the way. I did not notice that until now. sorting hat. Oh, I love it. We got Ron, Hermione, and Harry here. So I'm going to pull them up. Okay. I'm going to put them up here. Oh, maybe I'll put them over here. I'm not, I don't have any rhyme or reason. You know me. I don't vary from the script. I just do what I do. And then we got Professor Snape here. I need that to be right. And then I love this saying, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. <laughs> That's the the map I tell you I'm supposed to put down I think I'm going to put Hagrid at the top I need Hagrid to be the star right now so oh, here we go with this again oh. alright I'm going to put Hagrid back I'm going to put Hagrid up here there you go loving it I'm going to try and use all the you know, pictures that I can use. I mean, all the boxes, I'm sorry. I'm so annoyed with myself that I wasn't paying attention. Because I was too busy watching. Um, I like watching this um, YouTuber going around New York showing all the different, the extremely expensive apartments. I just... I don't even know how people live in New York with these prices. I'm just, but I can't stop watching him. I think his name was Cash, but I don't remember his last name. And I was sitting there watching and watching and watching. I watched him so much. I said, you know what? I'm sitting here watching all these videos. I might as well subscribe. So I ended up subscribing to him. Just because I just watched, so binge watched a lot of his show, his um, things, because I'm so fascinated with the fact that, you know, it costs an arm, a leg, a finger, and a toe in, to live in New York. I think that is so weird. I think it's so weird. Like, really, really weird. So, um, I don't know. I just, I just got fascinated with the, um, the cost of living in New York. But my thing is, is anybody is listening and you live in New York, can you answer me this question? How are you guys paying two, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand a month? Are y'all getting paid a lot of money? Like, is your cost of living there very high too? Because, you know, my brain just cannot fathom on the little bit of money that I make. <laughs> are you... I mean, you have to make, like, double my money just to pay for stuff. Like, I don't understand it. So, you guys are going to have to help me out. Please let me know. Because I'm struggling with how in the world is anybody living in New York. How? How are you living <laughs> in New York? I'm struggling with that idea. How are you living in New York? Just saying, I don't understand. Please explain to me so that I can have a clue. Because I'm struggling right now. I've just, I don't know. I just, it just doesn't make sense to me. And somebody needs to make it make sense. How, how does nobody... Uh, listen, I just watched one, right? So they just showed, he just showed these two places that were for sale, I think they call it. Even though they're apartments. I don't know. 
one was 1.4 million, the other one was 1.5 million. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, what in the world? Like, I was really just having a hard time understanding. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't get it. I don't know if I can get this up or not, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I'd rather put the red one here instead. Break up that yellow. It's a lot of yellow going on. I just cannot, you know, understand, like, what in the world? <laughs> like, where are you getting the money? How can people live in New York? Even the slums look like they were expensive. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out my Mojo Jojo Plans boxes. You guys know I went and bought myself some... Um, Mojo Jojo plan stuff when I uh, when they had a sale for Fourth of July. Yeah, it was really cool. Let me see. Do I want to do paint? No, no purple. I think I'm gonna use these. This, one. these are kind of close, but I can make it work. But anyway, I don't know how in the world <laughs> y'all are. Um, you know, making your rent in New York. How in the world are you doing it? Like, I don't understand. Please help me. Somebody help me. Somebody make it make sense to my brain. Because my brain is not accepting it. And saying, will not compute, honey. Will not. And that is a big problem. So make it make sense for me, please. And thank you. Because I am struggling with that thought. Somebody has to help me. <laughs> Somebody has to make it make sense. Because it does not. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. On how in God's creation are you guys paying that much money in rent. It, I don't know. It's just, it don't make no sense to me. I'm just making these colors work. Because <laughs> they really don't match that well. But we are going to make lemonade out of the lemons that I got here. <laughs> so, yeah, this is from Mojo Jojo Plants. I am actually enjoying um, this sticker. All these sticker books that I got from her, I will be using them very much. Trust me, I have some, I have some, um, I have some uh, uh, plans. I'm using all the stickers, stickers in the sticker book. Because I got work to do. Yes, please. And thank you. I uh, got a couple things I need to do on Friday. So I want to make sure I have my list here. So I stay focused. And, um... My uh, new uh, planner setup is is coming out with my uh, with my new wellness setup because I have some health challenges that I need to conquer. <laughs> so I um, thought that you might want to stay tuned to that because. Um, yeah, I have to set up some things. So, I got some things I got to do for this day for health reasons. Alright, so, let's see if this will peel back up. Oh, maybe not. Because I stuck it on top of another sticker. Oh, yay. Yeah, come on out. Because we're going to stick this one. We're going to stick Ron down here since he's blue. Or teal. Whatever that color is. And then I'm going to stick... Harry over here and then we're going to stick Hermione either here or here I didn't want to hit stick Harry with Harry even though that would be the best thing to do because of the color but 
Yeah, we'll make it work. We're making it work. Um, I'm going to pull out this payday sticker. There we go. Uh, I was going to use these little things here, over here, but I think I'm going to leave it blank or maybe stick another box in there. Because I plan on, I'm, I'm going to be kind of busy this week. And I have some things that I got to get done for my health. As as uh, Hagrid said, I was on vacation for my health. <laughs> I was on holiday for my health. He was uh, taking a break for his health or something, he said. <laughs> he was like, you need help from being a gamekeeper meeting. He's always outside and you need it help. You needed some time off for your health. That's what he said. He need time off for his health. <laughs> for his health. I think I'm going to use this one for here. I'm trying to cover up the shadowing from the, the week before. It's like a shadow here. And it's bugging me. And I don't like it. But we'll work it out. We'll keep doing what we do. And in the meantime, in between time, put these little boxes down. Because that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm trying and I'm actually starting to get over it, y'all. But I'm going to do what I do. Well, either way, I think I'm done with the boxes. I think I'm boxed out right now. All right. Uh-oh. I dropped my... Uh, thingy there. Sorry. So I'm going to find some days of the week stickers. I'm going to use some of these from Romina Rosa. I believe she's having a baby. I'm going to use her days of the week stickers here because I think they go cute and I want them. I want to use them because they've been sitting here a while and I know I'm not going to use them. So we're going to cut these out and um, I also pulled out my Crafting by the Pound. Love them. My laundry stay stickers because I do laundry on pay on pay weeks. So my thoughts are to cut out the days of the week from here and just you know stick them down. Listen, y'all. I will um use whatever I need to use, however I need to use them. I'm that girl. <laughs> I am. I never use things for how they were intended. I'm an out-of-the-box crafter and planner. So, if I need to, I will improvise in a heartbeat. I have no problem with doing that. Work it out. <laughs> work it out. Work it, work it out. So... Let me find my little date dots, too. Oh, you know what? I'll just put my, you know, I'll just take a pen and write it in. All right. I know. I'm sorry. Let me let me move stuff out the way. I don't know if I'm blurry all this time. I'm sorry. Just kind of took me off guard, but I thought these colors worked good with, like, the broom and the hair and, you know, just the different, um, the you know, the, um, the, uh, wizard, the, uh, Mathilda, Babcock, or whoever, Babshaw, whoever said that, you know, you've been expelled from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So, <laughs> hope you are well. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I am a Potterhead. Now, I don't get as, you know, crazy with it and get dressed up in the outfits, but I would. If I if I wanted to, but I really don't have that desire. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm a Potterhead, y'all. I love me some Harry Potter. 
I don't know. I guess it just, it came out, you know, nostalgic moments, I guess. It came out when my daughter was little and she loved it. She loved Harry Potter just as much as I, but I'm a sci-fi type girl. I love that type of, um, um, I love that type of, uh, stuff. So, anywho. Let's, uh, let's lay these Monday down. I'm going to lay Monday right here, Monday. Yep, so, nostalgic moments of my baby when she was little. Now, she not little no more. She got to be 25, y'all. Ooh, my old behind is getting old. Man, am I getting old. I'm just saying. My mom, you, and now I understand what my mama used to say. She not old. She got old kids. <laughs> I understand that so well. You don't realize how old you are till your kids is old. My goodness. But that's all right. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I'm grateful that I was able to be blessed to see her grow up. You know what I mean? Cuz you know, the people dropping like flies nowadays. You don't know when your last time you'll see your loved ones. You know, you think you're going to outgrow your, ch you know, outlive your children and stuff. And now people are bearing their grandbabies. And it's, it's crazy. So, you know, I try not to take nothing for granted. Because it's very easy to do. It really, really is. I'm going to stick this one in here like so. And I'm going to take my pen. And I'm going to write 24 here. 24, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, I always change that up every time, 29, and 30. That way I already have it handwritten. I don't have time looking for um, date dots. I don't. Now, I usually do my meal prep day, my meal plan. I usually do meal planning around, um, around you know, around Thursday, sometime Wednesday, depending on my mood. I do my meal preps usually Friday or early Saturday morning. So, it depends on how much of a bad week I had. So I'm going to put it here on Saturday, but usually, maybe I'll put it here. Um, I'm going to put it here. I usually do it meal prep after I get off work on Fridays. But sometimes my meal prep day, I, I, I get tired. Or So I'm going to put one in each. So I'm going to use this for this day. This is from Romina Rosa. Romina Rosa. This is her, from her YouTube and her um, Instagrams. And I'll end up using all this stuff for something different later. I usually do my um, laundry day on Saturday. It's usually Saturdays. So, we'll see if that actually takes place on Saturday. But I, I usually do my, sometimes, um, here's what I'll do. I'll move meal prep out the way because it's, it needs to be, let's stick it right here. There you go. And then I'll use this one because this is just sitting here. I haven't used any of these things in a minute. So, yes, that's from Crafting by the Pound and Romino Rosa. All right. I like the way it's looking, but I need a um, July sticker. My many stickers that I have sitting in here, as you can see. I just wish I had some more date dots. Like, those are some of the things that I need copies of and things of. That's what I need. I actually have date dots running around here somewhere, you guys, but I don't know where nothing is. I'm just being honest. So, I am loving how it's looking. It is a lot really busy. It's a lot going on inside of it, more than I would normally have inside. Um... My planner, but it's cute though. I am loving it. So this is my Harry 
Potter themed uh, or inspired uh, uh, layout. I'm going to put it in the um, in the planner and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. This is my layout for July the 24th through the 30th. My Harry Potter themed um, layout that was um, brought to you by craftyplanner.com. I'll put her information in the description box below. You can go over and check her out and see all the awesome things that she has. This was a free downloadable and you guys know I love how I feel about my digitals. So I went ahead and pulled these up for the, um, this week's spread honoring Harry Potter Day which is on Monday the 31st. So I hope you like it. If you do, please give me that big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, subscription is free. All you have to do is click that subscribe button down below. And we are part of the same family. Yay for me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.